Jack, you ended up going to Port Adelaide for a couple of years and playing three games. Did you nearly go to Richmond along the way? I did, yeah. So um, I think it was back in the end of 2014. So I just had the surgery for that year and was sort of getting to the back end of that year and coming back um, from that injury. And um, Rosie actually gave me a call one day in the off season and sort of said that Richmond had asked the question um, that they were pretty keen to get me over and I should have a look at the options. And at that point in time, I was, um, you know, just a Melbourne diehard and just wanted, you know, to get that success that everyone at the Melbourne Footy Club was seeking. So then Rosie sort of put that idea in my head, which sort of put me on the back foot and it was, it was pretty hard to cop at the time. But um, when your coach is telling you to sort of look at mm. various options, you've you've got to do it and that's the industry that we played in and um, the next morning I, I went over to Punt Road and Dimmer Hardwick at the time sort of, you know, welcomed me there and all the senior players and other coaches were there and um, sort, of, sort of showed me a presentation and, you know, they really valued me and wanted me to be a starting midfielder for them and it was pretty hard to say no to so um, I went downstairs and, and had a medical and this is, as I said, when I was coming back from my foot and this was the moment that I realised that the screws that had been put into my navicular had actually cracked through the screws. Um, really? I was doing the medical and really struggling just to hop on the spot. So we got sent for some more scans and I'd walked away assuming that I was going to be a Richmond player um, the following day, but unfortunately the, uh, the scan came back and there were some pretty nasty cracks through the screws and... I had to repeat the whole process again. So, um, yeah, one of those sort of sliding doors moments. Yeah. And, um, you know, I was, I was willing to go to Richmond at that time because of the circumstances dealt to me at Melbourne. But at the same time, I was really grateful to go back to Melbourne and um, continue my career there. And um, unfortunately, it meant that I missed another 12 months, which was very difficult at the time. But, um, yeah, it's... That's the, the footy industry itself these days. And I guess every club really needs to, they focus on taking care of the club itself and what that looks like in the future. And sometimes players are put up on the chopping block as a result. Do you remember your feeling, the psychological, your, your, your mental well-being when you walked out of Punt Road, knew that your foot wasn't right and knew that the opportunity that sort of was suddenly taken away from you? Yeah, I do. Um, we actually... So I was born and bred in Narracourt in South Australia and um, that night after the Richmond meeting, my um, partner and I were driving across to catch up with my family and it was a long drive over to Narracourt, a good five and a half hours to sort of, I guess, reflect and think about everything. And um, yeah, no doubt there was some sort of pretty sad thoughts going through my head, but at the same time, um, as I've sort of said, I'm just so, grateful at the same time. I think, you know, the perspective in terms of what I really value now has changed a hell of a lot from when I was 20 years old. And at that point in time, all I really cared about was that I had a healthy family. I was healthy myself, a loving family, um, you know, great friends and sort of everyone around me was fit and healthy. And that's all that I really care about these days. And um, I think a lot of athletes and footballers in particular can get sort of caught up in their own little bubbles and in the footy world that that's all that really matters. But um, I guess the greatest thing about being injured and going through adversity is it does really make you sort of sit back and reflect about what you really value in life. And I always just kept going back to those things and realising that I do have nothing to complain about because all those things are lining up for me. and. As I said, I was, while my foot was a bit of a pain at the time, there were a lot of other worse things going on in people's lives. So I had no right to complain. And um, I'm certainly a glass half full type of person and just looked at what the next opportunity was as a result of um, the cards that I, would de I was dealt. So um, always try to look at things in a positive manner. You're not 